Hey, orange one here. So we are continuing our war against Batania, but they only have three cities left compared to our one, two, three, four, five, six cities that we have. Um, and it looks to me like you guys are doing very well for yourselves over here. Um, um, it, yeah, sorry, the Vlandians, they've, they're destroying the Batanians. It's just, it's bad. So in any case, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do, and there's kind of two options. One is we can try and be a part of some sieges against the Batanian cities. And it looks to me like this place is actually under siege right now. So I'm curious if I just run over there, if I can get there in time to participate in said siege. Yeah, this place isn't being sieged. But yeah, I, it, that's one option. The other option is... Oh, looks like the siege is over. Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> the other option that I was thinking of doing is continuing to raid villages and maybe trying to participate in this siege that's about to happen. They've only got like 400 defenders. They already have 400 people here attacking the city. So I probably want to keep an eye on that and see if I can uh, get in on the action. Uh, I'm going to totally raid this village, though. So. can't really see if there's a battle, can I? I'm going to just go till it finishes because I don't think they're going to actually take the city in the time it takes me to raid this. Oh, there is one other thing that we needed to do. There's a companion that I wanted to pick up. Hey! Got a good amount of uh, of cash there. Yeah, I think I might want to just be a part of this. Oh no, they didn't like that we... Uh... They... Yeah, they didn't like that we were raiding there. Yeah, civilized dude. I could have sworn with a name like what he's got that we would have been fine. So they've only got 400 people attacking a city of 300. I don't think they're going to actually be able to take that. Not with those numbers. So I think in the meantime, we're going to go up here because I was I was looking at this in between episodes. Our companion, uh, Para, she's just staying in this city. Her... Uh, caravan got taken out and so we lost that income and i'm kind of at a crossroads here oh where, where are you they're the jawal party so if i go to the jawals i think they're culturally yeah i think that they're just kind of independent so they're just kind of doing their own thing so they're a bedouin confederacy but they're made up of, it looks like, mostly Batanians. Kind of weird. Whatever. Let's go up here. I'm pretty sure that city is not going to fall with that. Um, they don't even have a, t a 2 to 1 ratio or anything. Yep, so Para is in here. Oh, that's kind of cool. So if we go here and we go into the tavern, because I probably want to recruit some mercenaries anyways, because we're rich like that. Hey there, Para. Join my party. There we go. You're regaling these townsfolk with your uh, stories. Batanian arm trader. Aw, uh, you and three of your mates. Um, I think we could make some room for that. That's uh, probably worth, worth us upgrading for. Yeah, we've got like all these Vlandian recruits actually, so let's get rid of four of you. See ya guys. Um, hold on, what's our troop limit right now? Um, so we actually need to get rid of even more guys? So we were already over our limit. Well, let's get rid of these uh, Vlandian recruits. Let's just get rid of, I think, all of them. I think that we need to do that. Yeah, that should let us recruit these dudes. Okay, and then Para, let's move you up so that you can actually fight with us. Oh, and you know what we should do is we should upgrade Para's gear. Uh, let's see. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. No, that's not what I was, I was trying to do. Um, we were going to go to the tavern. 
and hire those armed traders. Yeah. Good. Easy. Couple of pretty good units. I mean, it costs 100 per head, but I'm not stressing about it. I and mean, these guys that you normally get, they're so cheap, but these are units are way, way, way better. Um, we were going to look at upgrading Paris gear. Uh, so I'm just curious as to what I already have. Yes, I already have some decent armor that I was saving just for this exact occasion. Um, nothing there that's really any good. We could give you a merchant's hat. That's funny, because you actually were a merchant. Um, so if we look at your swords... Oh, man. That is a fancy sword. The tier 6 weapon. It's going to practically bankrupt me, but you would have a really nice sword. I think I'm going to... Look at armor first, um, and we'll, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're doing it. Um, we're going to have you go full on battalion. Uh, you know, this is pretty good. I think I do want to upgrade that. Um, you know, we've been saving this armor. Let's continue to save it. I, we just have the money right now, so we might as well have what I'm thinking. Um, yeah. Man, you just got, like, totally pimped out over there. Uh, the shoes, I think we can get... Yeah, there's some slightly better shoes. There we go. Alright, Para, you should be near invincible in terms of armor now. Um, the bows... Yeah, we can't afford any of these super fancy bows. I can only afford like about a 2k-ish bow right now. Uh, it does not look like there's too many options for us. I think we'll just kind of keep you with a... Yeah. We'll, we'll keep you with what you got, weapon-wise. Um, at least for the bow. There is the option of giving you a a good um, actual sword though because we could afford like a um, like a war razor I don't know if I want to spend the money on it though yeah I think we'll, we'll save the money for now and we'll get you all decked out soon enough I do want to be a part of sieges though and raiding uh, if I can be Speaking of which, I actually should probably load off um, some of the stuff that we just... I know it's not the best price for the hardwood, but we'll do that. And I'm actually... I'll, I'll buy a little bit of grain. Um, and I just actually am going to... Just because you get a little morale bonus from having multiple food types in your inventory, we're going to do that just to give our party just a little bit better morale. It, it helps with your leadership skill and whatnot. Um, and I'm just curious, yeah, you guys can't level up at all, so I was just just wondering, because I'm not fully understanding how that all works. Yeah, the other siege, maybe I should go down there. I feel like y'all probably want to see a siege. Y'all probably don't want to see me raiding more villages. Though, unless they've got more units, they're not going to be able to siege that place down. And... I mean, to be fair, the Batanians, I think they've been crushed and pretty much routed. I don't see them making much of a comeback. My cat just jumped on my shoulder, by the way. Um, yeah, this doesn't seem like you guys are going to be able to take this. I'm just saying, Catalid. Good luck. I mean, 500. If I added my troops to this battle... Oh, the defenders, they're, the, they've gone down. Okay, I think we're going to jump in on this then. They've only got... Um, can I join their siege? It does not look like I can. No. Okay. What if I go try and enter the city, like right now? What happens? Join the continuing siege... So, okay, yeah, so I can... Oh, they are actually trying to attack right now. 
Oh, man. We're going to do it. I think we've got about 2 to 1 ratio. This might be really, really cool. Or it might be a complete party wipe and we might need to just like get out of here. We'll see. I'm just gonna let it auto deploy. I don't think I even have much say in this because I'm not the it's not even my faction. You know? Um I don't think I should be on horseback right now. Sorry if the game's really loud compared to me. It's kinda hard to get it just right. But I think, looking at OBS right now, I think we're in a good zone. So, yeah, I think I probably want to have my shield up. Look at this. Look at all this. This is why I upgraded my computer right here. This is super cool. Look at this. We got like hundreds plus people on the map right now. Um, I don't know where my guys are. Infantry! I think they're just kind of going with the flow because I don't really even see them on the map right now. I'm gonna just let them do do it. Um, there's a couple random weapons on the ground there. Have kind of random. Oh jeez, that must have been some sort of weapon. I didn't see what it was or where it came from. I see some archers are up on that tower, but I'm not going to be able to hit them from here. Yeah, I don't really have good cover. If I had better cover, I might go for it. Yeah, where is that coming from? They're shooting out of the little nooks, I swear. That is amazing. So they actually have, they're actually using those little structures to shoot arrows out of them. You see that dude up in that window? That's so cool. Oh no, I missed. You're kidding me, right? Ugh. I could have sworn that I was hitting that guy. Okay, that was just a little high. It's not really dropping very much. There we go. Okay, I got an archer. I mean, we were pretty much on the walls at that point anyways, so... Okay, this guy's going down. I don't know what you think you're doing there, buddy. Oh no, is he aiming at me? No, he's not aiming at me. Come on. It really doesn't seem to drop nearly as much as I, I think it's going to with those arrows. Um, looks like someone's up there. I don't know. They went a little ahead of the line there. Oh look, they're already up there on that side. Oh, well, there's quite a few archers over there. I could probably get in on that if I hide behind maybe this infantry. Trying to ram their way through the gates. Okay, this is... I'm kind of being dumb right now by trying to take these shots because I'm out in the open. I think that guy might be out of arrows. Either that or he's bugging. On there we go. Couple couple dudes down. I don't know what they're doing over there. Yeah, I can't really handle it. Uh, is that no? That's just a ballista. Oh no, that's got a dude on it. That dude, ballista was looking straight at me, but my homies got us covered. Yeah, dude. Did you see that? Okay, that ballista is now aiming at us. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a shot off on that guy. <gasps> you see that? Oh, dudes. That was a good shot. No. Yep. This is what I live for. I love this stuff. Okay, it looks like we're in the walls. Um, there's like a ton of stones or something on the floor here, I think. Uh, let's get in there. It looks like we're taking it. Oh man, look at this. We have, we've taken the courtyard. Okay, it's ours at this point. I'm trying to give you guys a good perspective on all the chaos. Yeah, there's some weird graphical bug there going on there. 
That was pretty cool, though. <laughs> oh, man. That was way better than the castle siege that we uh, we participated in. What are y'all doing? Got some uh, some pathing issues there. Um, is there a guy that's still uh, alive up here? Oh, is he up there? <laughs> Take that. <laughs> We've only got two more arrows left, so it's not like I'm gonna be able to do much more. Wow, they're actually making a good last stand in this building. There was quite a bit of red on that uh, kill count, or kill cam, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I am not going to be able to see anything of what's going on. Okay, Bannerlord. I get it. There's a lot of people up there. God, that ran so smooth. Like, for real. Oh, no, is there someone who's like that we can't get to? There's someone. Oh, up in the keep. It looks like they're getting them in the keep, though. That's pretty cool. Man, this is really cool seeing the cities from this perspective. And if you aren't aware, this is like totally the same city. Like, we can walk around here and go check out that building. Like, look at that little water fountain right by the gate. I'm going to go show you what I mean pretty soon. So, let's exit out of this. I got summer down there. It was considerable. That was probably worth it. I'm a little bit afraid of the Vlandians, though. I'm gonna get all those prisoners um, because we're, we can just sell them in the tavern, essentially. Oh, look at that. That's a pretty good helmet. And there's armored bearskin. Can we give that to this dude? Is that better than what he's currently... It's comparable. Um... Yeah. A lot of these items are kind of like meh. I mean, that's an upgrade for you, so we'll go for that for you. I think I'll take everything else, but I'm probably just going to sell it all. And station a garrison here. No, what we're going to do is we're going to sell all those uh, prisoners that we just got. There we go. We made nearly a grand off that. We will make a grand once we sell all the weapons. I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, yeah, just sell all those weapons. Is there any armors that I want to keep? I probably want to keep that. Probably want to keep... Um, keep that. Everything else can go. And then I think... Yeah, that's probably pretty good for now. Maybe we can get rid of... Yeah, let's get rid of some arrows. There's no need to have that many arrows laying around. And we don't really need those javelins either. I want to keep this uh, and that. Eh, we'll get rid of that. We'll actually get rid of all of them. Cool. And look at that. We're <laughs> making so much money. <laughs> um, I do want to actually go to the actual tavern and see if we can... We could get the bear companion. I think that we're maxed out on our companions, I'm pretty sure. But I will definitely get those armed traders. Uh, yeah, it's gonna tell me that I can't hire him, un unfortunately. Yeah, I can't manage all my friends. You know, before Facebook, this is what it was like. You could only have four friends. <laughs> Look at that art on the wall. That is so cool. I love that. Like, there's so much cool attention to detail. The fire is a little... Um... Yeah. <laughs> That's not the best animation compared to other aspects of the textures of this game. But, I mean, come on. That doesn't look half bad for video game food. I mean, I probably wouldn't eat it in the real world, but it's pretty good. Pretty dang good. Oh, look at that. You can see some, uh, quite a bit of leg there. Jeez. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm gonna get put on a, a list for that. Um. Let's see. What do I want to do? 
they've basically been crushed. I think I want to keep on pushing and get kind of closer towards them. If I can... Yeah, let's level up some people. I would like to do maybe a little bit more raiding. Because that's been proven to be very effective for us. Uh, let's just go take out some looters, though. Oh, there's actually another group of looters there. I might not want to engage all of them at once. Yeah, we can we can handle this group of looters. I actually am going to jump into it IRL. Or not in the real world, but you know what Sergeants I mean. in charge. We're going to jump in and do this ourselves. Mostly because I'm feeling like some target practice. But yeah, I'm thinking this character... Um, it's kind of like a, a mixed feeling for Rodan. He's, you know, he's fighting for his country. Definitely doing the right thing in that regard. But he, uh, you know, his parents were killed by raiders. And now here I am. Being, what? A raider. You know? I mean, sure, it's for country and whatnot, but... Let's not kid ourselves. You know? And so, like, Rodan's trying to do what he can to protect his people, but... Definitely got some, uh, ethical problems with what he, he's he gone and done. But, you know, you gotta, you gotta do what you can in times of war, right? I don't know, I... It's a lot of people role playing these types of games just like go into like murder hobo mode, but I think it's kind of interesting to actually think about what a character like Rodan, Rodan's going through. I did want to try something really quick. If I hold down E and then S, or what was it? It was like a. There was something where if you hold down like. Yeah, there we go. So if you're. If you double tap, it makes you go a little faster. And if you're turning, like if I hold down D and then hold down S, I like totally skid out. Oh, that's pretty sweet. So I can do something like that and then like turn around. Oh man, you can turn around fast. Okay, I gotta I gotta get that down. That's gonna let me uh, be a old ninja like on the battlefield. Uh, I'm not gonna take those prisoners. I'll take their stuff. I'll take those dates. Those dates were very valuable around here, actually. That was crazy overpriced. I'm just going to go after these other looters just because, like I said, I'm feeling like a little target practice right now after that siege. That went very well for us. Um, Follow your sergeants. You guys just get in there. I'm sorry, this is very dark right now. You probably are having a hard time seeing what's going on. So we'll just try and do this quickly, as quick as possible, essentially. Oh, missed. Firing into the crowd. Oh, I hit someone there. I did. I actually did not expect to hit someone there. Yeah, kind of messed that one up. God, these guys with their stones. I like how the interrupts work in this game. It's just uh, I'm not used to it. Yeah, throw your stones at me. I'm going away from you. You might even hit my shield. I'm kind of maybe taking more damage than I'm comfortable with. But it's good for my archery skill. We'll get some of that down. There we go. And yeah, look at all those stones on the ground. That's crazy. I like how when they throw them, the stones stay on the ground though like that. It's a nice little uh, attention to detail thing. God, these arrows. They're so, so good. And this bow. I just basically spent like a crazy amount of money on a good bow. Oh, I tried to skid out there, but I just totally messed that up. I think I was going too slow. There we go. Okay, that, that's it. Good. I like how you can exit out of battles a little bit faster too. It's a nice little uh, attention to detail there. Um, yeah, we'll take your beer. I will gladly take your beer, bandits. And then we'll make our way up towards here where we're gonna hopefully do a little bit of raiding. 
maybe we'll uh maybe we'll get some recruits along the way because we're kind of thin on terms of our troop count there that's weird oh yeah you don't like me <laughs> yeah i remember that now i raided all of your villages makes sense probably a good call oh okay so para's gained a level so what do i want para to do Oh, you got some good medicine there, Para. Probably want to up that. And you're going to do some fighting, but I think... There's me and there's that dude. I mean, I kind of... I'm okay, at actually. Um, at self-medicating. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. Yeah, let's let's have you get some medicine points. I think it'll probably a good, be a good idea to have an NPC that's a uh, experienced medic. Wait, is there a battle? Oh my god! What is going on here? Yeah, this place is on fire. This whole countryside is gone. Is there any place that hasn't been raided? Yeah, there's a place that hasn't been raided there and this castle is probably gonna get sieged um there's a number of them they're actually kind of sallying out a little bit they're chasing after me um i'm gonna go to the care banthson and see if i can get any mer mercenaries there because we are actually pretty hurt right now um yeah, we're not going to get anyone in in the actual villages, but we can get some thugs. These guys have no problem working with the an Asari mercenary captain who just, like, you know, is maybe, maybe a little overzealous. Um, I will do, actually, some proper trade here, because we have stuff. Sure. And yes, I'll get rid of that. Um, I'll buy some of those though. I'll buy some of that too. And I'll buy some of that. Good. Gotta keep the, mor the morale high. Um, what do I want? Should I attack a village or should I try and get in on the siege? Why don't we go over here? We'll see if this place is about to get sieged or not. Oh no, this village has been looted. Oh look at that. There's a pretty big uh pretty big fight that's about to happen here. What's your speed? Yeah, you guys are gonna get caught. I kinda wanna be a part of this. Game, can I be a part of this? Can I I don't know if I can join up with the army of an enemy nation 2.9 and 3.0. Yeah, you guys should be able to catch this. Just a matter of uh, waiting, essentially. Um, now they're they've got the numbers advantage, and I don't know why they're not turning around because they probably should. Oh, they're trying to besiege the Geta. Good luck with that. Um, yeah, this suddenly changed in terms of our ability to make a difference i don't think that this is a good idea i mean the vlandians do oftentimes beat the batanians are you guys going to catch them that's my question really if you are i'll join up with you yeah but it doesn't look like i can because i'm not in your faction yeah and it looks like you're not even chasing after them. Okay, well, I think that this is a good point for us to end this episode. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.